Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick lesson on the difference between lazy V stacks, regular V stacks, and lists. And we're gonna go over the big performance differences and the do's and don'ts of each individual component. So really quickly guys, I wanna go over first the topic of lazy loading. What exactly is lazy loading? It's probably a term you've heard before in iOS development, but you may or may not know what it is. So let's look at the difference between eager loading and lazy loading in this image here. So when I have some sort of list on my phone, as I do here, we, can, we have what's on the screen and then we have the rest of the scroll content that extends below the screen that I can only see once I start to scroll in my application, right? So eager loading is a situation in which all of the elements in the scroll view are rendered in memory. So this example takes up two megabytes of data. We could imagine that each one of these images takes up half a megabyte. So it's one, two, three, four for two megabytes of data. That's eager loading. Lazy loading is far more efficient because it only loads things on screen on an as needed basis. So I'm gonna not load the things that I can't see yet until they're about to come into view. And as you guys could imagine, this is significantly better for optimizing the performance of your application. You're not unnecessarily loading things into memory, so it's going to lead to smoother scrolling, whereas eager loading might lead to, might lead to laggy scrolling or a poor user experience. So I have a quick example opened up here in Xcode that I want us to go through really quickly, guys, to really see the performance differences in each one of these components. So right now, what I have rendered in the preview is a scroll view, scroll view using a V stack. And we have some basic item structure. We are looping through all of these items that we'll see in a second, and we're just displaying some very simple data. So guys, what I did was I just made a whole ton crap load of items, right? I think we have like almost five, 600 of these items that I just copy and pasted a bunch, right? In my code editor. And we're gonna try to load all of those on the screen. So with this given format, with just the scroll view and the VStack, this is going to render as an eager load. So it's going to load all of this stuff at the same time into memory. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the application guys. And we're gonna keep an eye on the performance indicators for our application. So we can see here that we have loaded 127 megabytes of data, which is absolutely terrible for our the performance of our application. That's taking up a lot of memory. And it's really just to load a simple list of information. And once again, guys, that is because this is doing the eager loading style, right? So we don't want to do that in this situation. We're going to want to utilize a lazy load for this. So let's go and see what that would look like. We're literally just going to change VStack to lazy VStack. And then we're going to go and keep an eye on our performance of our application here. We're going to run this again. And we're going to see the massive difference in the amount of memory it takes up, right? This is only taking up 30 megabytes of data which is one fifth of what we were seeing before, I believe. It was like around 150 last time or something. And you guys can see here that it pretty much stays consistent at that, right? And that's because it is only loading data on that as needed basis, right? So it's only taking up 32 megabytes of data at a time. So basically what's happening is guys, as things disappear off the screen, it throws them out of memory. So that frees up memory in our application, which keeps that nice and performant, right? That's why we get this super smooth scrolling. And we noticed here that that really never changes, guys. So that is the difference between a lazy load and an eager load. And if we go and utilize a list in this situation, guys, which we could do as well, I'm gonna just go ahead and change this guy to list. I'm gonna take it out of the scroll view because SwiftUI doesn't like when we do that we're gonna notice it does the same thing. So lists by nature have lazy loading built into them by default. Swift did that for us, which makes it really, really nice for us to work with, right? If we go back to the performance tab of our application, we see that we're only taking up 36 megabytes of memory. So slightly more than our lazy VStack. Um, I think the list might take up a little bit more memory because of it, the component in and of itself. There's a lot of built-in things that come with lists. And you guys might be wondering, okay, when do I use a lazy V stack versus a list? And that's really up to you. It's personal preference in a lot of the time. I find that list does have a lot more built in things like you can add swipe actions to them. It comes built in with this UI already nice and ready to go. And lazy V stacks are a little bit more customizable 
and don't have as much out of the box functionality. So that might be when you want to use one versus the other guys. But the overall takeaway from this lesson is eager versus lazy loading. When you have big lists of data, especially when you're working with things like images, make sure you are using lazy loads and not eager loads. You only want to use VStacks for like very simple UI components. Like we see here, the content of each one of my cells, this can be a VStack because we don't need to lazy load any of these things, right? We want to lazy load the entire list itself or the entire component itself. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Super short and super sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And check out our website at stephancodes.com where we help you level up your skills as an iOS developer, guys. We have a bunch of pro courses. So whether you're a seasoned dev or you're just getting started, we have something for everybody here. We can get you started with the beginner fundamentals, intermediate and advanced fundamentals. And we also have a bunch of amazing pro courses where we build popular app clones completely from scratch to help you guys level up your skills as an iOS dev. And you guys can become a member here with us and get access to all of this material for less than a coffee a day. That also includes our awesome app templates, guys, which are ready to go right out of the box. So make sure you guys check out our website at stephancodes.com. The link is in the description, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.